live from PATV Studios, it's The Lyle Style Show. And now, the man with the most style, it's your host, Lyle Style. Hey, welcome to our beautiful edition of The Lyle Style Show. Oh my goodness. I think this is a really good show I have here. Um, I'm, I'm talking right now to, to a very talented, very beautiful R&B singer named Tyler Noel. Uh, we're going to talk about her career, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for her to be on my show. So, hey, Tyler, welcome to the Loud Style Show, young lady. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you uh, thinking enough of me to have me on your show. Oh, wow. Well, well thank you for being there, because I know you're busy, you know, with your schedule and whatnot, and, and you know, your, your album's coming out, stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, so right now for our viewers, kind of get a little bit of background about how, how you got started in the, in, the, uh, in the music business. Um, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of typical, believe it or not. I started off in the church, and um, I, I um, wanted to be a part of the choir so bad. I was about five years old, and so um, my aunt who helped my dad raise me, she went to the choir director, and she said, I know she's too young, but, it, you know, will you just do us this favor and let her be in the choir? And I was five, and, and Miss Bell, I'll never forget her name, Miss Bell, let me be in the choir, and it was kind of a wrap from there. You know, I went to different performing arts schools, and um, I just did talent shows all over the state, and, um, you know, I, I did performing arts all the way through high school, and then I went to college for music for a while. Um, and I, like I said, I was in different girl groups, and just, you know, that's really kind of how it started at five in the church. Oh, wow, wow, Be beautiful. That's, that's, that's a wonderful, you know, you know, I mean, singing gospel, I mean, you, you sing, sing with, your, with your heart, with your soul doing that, so... Uh, you know, so God just blesses you with talent like that. But now, now, are you are you originally from from Miami, Florida, aren't you? I'm originally from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Oh, Florida. Okay, okay. And, and how did you wind up in uh, in Atlanta, Georgia? Well, you know what? Um, uh, we kind of call it the Tri Cities. It's the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and the Greater Palm Beaches. And down there, mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like I can say this fairly, we like <laughs> a lot of rap music. Okay, um, so if you're not <laughs> Trick Daddy or Trina or Rick Ross, uh, you know, one of those, then uh -huh. it's going to be really hard to make it as an R&B singer. Even T-Pain, he's a Florida boy, too. I want to mm -hmm. say he's from Tallahassee, and he okay. had to start off rapping. Then when he finally broke, then he became a singer. So I had to get up out of there. I chose a place that uh, historically broke artists, R&B artists. I look mm -hmm. back at TLC, Escape, you know, Tony Braxton, some of the big names right, right, in R&B. Right. Uh, sure, you know, they all got their start. Even if they weren't from Atlanta, they got their start in Atlanta. Mm -hmm, so I decided, mm -hmm. yeah, Atlanta is going to be the place for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, wonderful things. So you've been out here for, for a, few, a few years? I've been here for almost nine years too long. Oh, wow. <laughs> Now you're too long. Okay, I heard, I heard that. I heard that. So, 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 so tell us now. Now, now you, your thing is um, RB. I mean, your 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 album is is it about coming out now? You dropping it now, or is it already out in stores? Um, it's it's actually almost out, and it's an EP. I did a five song compilation, mm -hmm. um, and the the title of the the EP is called This Time Around. Um, a lot of people don't know, but I have five full albums already. Wow. Some of which had come out, some of which didn't come out, you know, but mm -hmm. I have five full albums and two mixtapes, so mm -hmm. this EP is called This Time Around. This Time Around. This Time Around, the best time right there, huh? I would think. Um, well, we're we going to see, you know, we're going to see, God willing. Uh -huh. um, you know, this time around was different, though. I, I had gone through so many things right. and experienced so many things, met new people, had a new producer, okay. had been pushed to limits that I never would have thought before. And this is the longest I took to do any compilation of songs. So it was like this time around. Uh -huh. It's so different. So that, that And that's why I decided to name it that. Wow. That's a wonderful name. You know, I mean, you... Uh, I went on your Facebook page and whatnot, your beautiful Facebook page, and, and you know, uh, found a little bit about you and stuff, how you got started, and, and you know, everything like that and stuff. So, but um, in, in your music business, now, what, 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 what drives you to do what you do? What, 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 what motivates you? What, what, what can you tell our viewers or, or any young person that really kind of want to start, uh, have the talent, want to start in this, this type of business? What would you well, tell them? Well, what I would want to tell the listeners is, um, for the grown-up listeners, I want to say it's never too late to start. Yes. Um, if you really feel like you want to do something, if that's your dream, it's really never too late to start because mm -hmm. the problem is, some people that are living aren't really living. They're just alive. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You don't really start living until you really just take control of your life and live your dreams. Mm -hmm. um, so my younger listeners, I would say no matter how hard you feel like it's going to be, then you just got to pray hard and work hard, you know, mm -hmm. because it's not going to always be easy. 
Murphy. Um, music in itself, the business has changed uh, drastically, tremendously. So it's not going to necessarily be as easy as you would like it to be, mm -hmm. but it's called hard work and persistence. So you can't give up. You can't just, you know, get nervous and say, oh, it's not going to happen. No. And no matter how hard it looks, you got to work hard. you got to pray hard, you know, and, and um, your work will speak for itself. That's right. Amen. That's right about that. So, hey, I'm going to ask you, okay, now, you've been in this for, for a while. So, can you, can you give me any, any um, uh, okay, you've been working with producers or whatever. Uh, any uh, things, any good things that happened to you since in the business, you know? Uh, can you kind of expound on a little bit? You know, any positive things? Um, I mean, I, I've had, you know, I mean, I've had songs on the radio. I've been on certain TV shows that I can't really talk about. Okay. Um, you know, so I've had little things here and there happen, mm -hmm. you know, good mm -hmm. things. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I, you know, got a little sneak preview, got a little camera time on a couple of shows, and, okay. and um, that that was really good. Mm -hmm. And um, and I have had a couple records on the radio before. Um, and my single, Clap Back, is actually, oh, you know, yeah. starting to get momentum. So right. that's, that's, that's a great thing. Right, it is a great thing. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that, too. And and, I, and I've heard, I listened to some of your, your music, and you have a wonderful voice. Thank you. Uh, very talented young lady. I, I know you're going to go really far places, you know. And I, I had talked to your manager. He seemed like a nice guy uh, and everything like that and stuff. And, you know, with, with a good team behind you, a positive team behind you, you're definitely going to go far. But, number one, you know, with, with Christ God in your life, you, you can do all things, you know. So uh, I agree. I, yeah, I know that, you know, things are going to work out for you and whatnot. So, what, what, so tell me a little bit about um, your music business. What, what are some of the other endeavors that you, you want to get involved with? Or? Um, well, uh Hopefully, in the next few years, I'll be able to start my book. I want to write a book. Okay. Um, and I also want to do a fragrance line before it's all over with. But I, uh, most importantly, I want to be successful at the music because mm -hmm. although I may get little uh, uh, parts here and there on shows, and yes, there's a book coming, and the fragrance, fragrance line will be great. Mm -hmm. But for me, it is about the music because I am a musician. Right, right. You know, so I want the music to take off and, and get the notoriety that I feel like it deserves. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. any artist that's worth their salt, wants to be known for their what they do you know mm -hmm. and that is music for me so mm -hmm. so yeah I know I know yeah now look the reality of you the music business is up and down type of thing you know uh I mean, you know, people, young people look at this as like glamorous or whatever but but you, you, but there's a lot of hard work involved in what you're doing is yeah, it is. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work. It's gonna be a lot of no's. A lot of no's. Okay. You get so many no's. 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 Everybody is a no. No, you're too old. You're too this. You're too thick. You. I don't know what type of genre of music. Here's the thing that people remember. It doesn't matter if you get a million no's. All you need is one yes. That's right. That's all it takes is one. The right one. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know, that's just kind of how it goes in my line of business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that that one no, that one yes. I mean, can open up a door for you where your your, your career could skyrocket. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. You know, because because I know we on we on links in, and um, I just appreciate you you reaching out to me the way, the way you have, and you know actually want to do my talk show because I do plan to uh, eventually a year and a half now go come out there to Atlanta, Georgia, to be doing some shows out there in Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to have you on my show out there in Atlanta. You know, when I ask, ask you to come out there. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you know. Um, and and uh, another thing, so so what, uh, uh, I mean, you doing your music. Now, now tell me about, about your family. You, uh, you got any sisters and brothers? Are they into the entertainment business or what? Are you don't want um, I really don't like to do too much talking about my family um, mm -hmm. because family is very personal to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when the, the lights go off and the cameras go off and the music turns off, all you have really is your family. Right, right. Um, what I will say is I do have siblings, and one of them is in the music business as well. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, good. I mean, you know, you, you got to keep that separate, don't you, though? You gotta keep it I separate. really try to. I, yeah. try to. I try to keep it separate. Um, this business has... Um, shown this ugly face in my family before wow. you know there's always going to be a comparison someone is going to want to compare you to this sibling mm -hmm. or that sibling can't mm -hmm. do this or this sibling mm -hmm. looks like this or that sibling has more views or you know it's going to always be some type of something so right. like i said this business has uh shown its ugly face right. um right. in the family so i just have to be very careful you know i have to keep my family my family and keep my business something right else. right right now okay in this, in this business have, have you have you met any people that you look up to uh have you worked with or who, who will be your person you you would think you would kind of 
look up to you, what we want to do maybe a, a song with her with? Um, well, honestly, and this is no secret, she has been my fairy godmother since I was a child. Uh-huh. I love, love, love Karen Clark Sheard. Um, I grew uh-huh. up listening to gospel music. Yes. I grew up listening to the Clark Sisters. Yeah. And um, I knew that I wanted to sound like her. I, I would actually barricade myself in the room and practice all of her riffs and her runs and stuff when I was little. Uh-huh. So I, if I could uh, hug or shake hands with anyone in the music industry, it would be her. I'd love to do maybe an inspirational something with her because she is just iconic in the gospel world. Oh, and yes, and she is. believe it or not, a lot of R&B singers have taken and pulled a lot from Karen Clark and from the Clark sisters, you mm-hmm. know, just as a family. They, the, their family is just, I mean, iconic. <laughs> right. You're right about that. You know, well, we could say a shout out to the Clark sisters and Karen Clark. You know, we're Absolutely. Not, yeah, and, uh, and, and, and respect she, due to their mom, um, uh-huh. uh, she is gone, but she has not forgotten uh, Maddie Moss Clark, who well, was yeah. amazing in the yes. Kojic uh, community and, and with their, the whole music department in the Kojic church. So. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. I mean, who hasn't ever heard, heard of them, you know? And matter of fact, right. she's one of, one of the ones I want to get on a lifestyle show because I love gospel. I'm a Christian myself, so I love gospel. Uh, uh, and, and so, so is, is there anything else Okay, you kind of want to share with our viewers, a little bit about your story, anything that would, uh, you kind of want to just, you know, talk a little bit about? Well, um, I, I really just want to really, really reiterate to not give up. Oftentimes, yeah. people, you know, they kind of cringe mm-hmm. when they, they go to get nervous or when something seems like it might be too hard. And it's just like, I just want my your listeners and my fans to just understand that it might not be easy, but never mind what you see. You pray hard and you work hard and anything can happen. Anything is possible. Um, And just believe in yourself. And um, something else that I want to make sure people know, because this is something that I'm very, very serious about when Mm -hmm. I perform and um, I just see people just, you know, all over the place. I want people to remember that you have to respect people. Have courage and be kind. Mm -hmm. Make sure you respect the doorman the way that you would respect the President of the United States, you know? So, um yeah, yeah, that, that's what I want to say to people. And, and I want to make sure they remember to follow me on yes. all my social medias, which okay, is yeah, uh, right. Twitter and Facebook. It's Tyler Noel, N-O-E-L-1-L. And uh, Instagram is Ms. Tyler Noel, M-S-T-Y-L-E-R-N-O-E-L. Okay. Right, right. We put the Facebook so, yeah. we put the Facebook page up on, uh, on the show and that type of stuff okay. here so yeah, people can follow you and, and, and get involved with your music and stuff. And, and uh, um, now, Okay, now... Your music business, are you, now have you, have you done any rapping? That's, I'm kind of wondering, I know you're an R&B singer, but. No, no. Mm-mm. Okay, that's not, that's not something that you're going to get involved with in, in, in the no. future. Mm-hmm. I, I respect rappers. Uh-huh. I respect rappers, but I, you know, I'm not one. <laughs> so I, I, I probably won't be, you know, yeah, yeah. and there's no probably about it. I'm not going to play those well, type of games, you know. I, okay. I respect everyone's craft, right. and um, and that, that's just not for me. Okay, because you know what, you meet myself. I was thinking about getting into the into the the music business. business uh, do you need a backup singer? You know, because Lost Star can kind of get some notes there a little bit. Um, I actually am not looking for a background singer just yet. Oh, but you know, keep, me, <laughs> keep me in mind, young lady. Keep me in mind, cause I'm, you know, I, I, I can, it's, you know, I can, I'm a, a audition for you, you know, and come out there to Atlanta audition for you, you know, with stuff like that. I will know. keep you in mind. <laughs> yeah, cause I it, will. It, somebody said somebody told me loud. Uh, keep your day job. Uh, keep keep doing the talk show. Uh, this is. <laughs> I, hey, I said, man, do, don't do not mess up my dream. Keep hope alive, you know, so uh, <laughs> that's what I tell folks. But, yeah, you know what? I mean, I admire that. That's my fantasy right here. I used to just dream myself singing and and singing to people. And, I mean, it's music is so iconic. Music is so beautiful. You can you can reach everybody through the music. You can bring you can bring cultures together. You can bring the, the, the world together through music. So you can touch so many people. Mm-hmm. You know, so you really can. Yeah, and, and your music, you know. Now, now, do you? Now, you, you're, you're, you're a songwriter, so I'm assuming I you am. write all your songs. Then. I write most of my songs, yes. Um, I, but I'm not, you know, so cool to where if, if somebody has a good song that I won't mm-hmm. sing it because okay. because they wrote it. No, mm-hmm. um, I do write most of my own material. But if it's a song, you know, a good a good record is a good record. And mm-hmm. if someone else comes to me and says, Tyler, I have this record that I want you to sing, and it's a good record, then mm-hmm. I'm going to sing it. Okay. Okay. Now, now let me ask you questions here. Who would be your best, your one, your your um, favorite like 
movie uh, music producers that you would want to work with, your icon? Mm, I don't have one yet. So all I don't have one, but but what I would say, um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's just so many. There are so many. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who are, I mean, all the way. You got to remember, I'm an 80s baby. Yes. From Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis to, yeah. you know, I mean, it, uh, there's just so many. If I had to, I had to, had to choose one, it would probably be Babyface. Oh, but um, yeah, because I grew up one. listening to his music. Right. You know, I, I grew up listening to his music. So, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because you know when I when I had um, I had Portia Coleman uh, on my show while well, back about a year ago. She, she's an R&B singer from, from uh, California, and whatnot. And you know she's a and you know she kind of said the same thing you did. You know, it's, it's so many out there. You can't really just choose one um, that that uh, that's really good and that you really could work with. Um, now, now now do you uh, see? I'm into jazz. Have you ever did any little jazz type stuff? I was in a jazz uh, band years back. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. Well, that, that's wonderful, you know, because I, I love jazz myself, though. But and um, now, now I, I'm kind of get, gonna get get off the the beat a little bit. You know, sometimes on Lost Out Show we kind of like mix it up a little bit and talk a little bit about other stuff, you know. And so, I mean, mm-hmm. what, what now? What? Okay. Uh, do you have a favorite color? Favorite color is red. I have red. two favorite colors, red and black. I actually wear a lot of them together. I'm getting ready to go to filming this evening, and mm-hmm. I'm actually pulling out a red dress to wear to filming this. Oh evening. wow, red and black. That's a wonderful mm-hmm. color, girl. This is yeah, it sparkles. Red and black. Mm-hmm. My, my is blue. You know, last I like blue. You know, mm-hmm. uh, but okay. but I do like green uh, because that's well, my, green means money. That's right. There you go. There you go. Now 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 you now you're talking what I'm talking about. But okay, mm-hmm. and and you you have um. A favorite thing you like to do to relax. What would Tyler No do in a downtime to just relax and just to just kind of unwind? Tyler Noel is a beach baby. I am okay. a real Florida girl. So okay. what relaxes me is to go to a quiet spot in the beach and just listen to the waves. I mm. really, really am a beach baby. And growing up, they would uh, my family, you know, would take us to the beach. And um, mm. I, even when I was uh, once I got old enough to drive, when I would have a bad day or something, I'd go to the beach and just sit, you know, uh, near the dock or mm. you know, on a, in a very, very quiet place, not on the strip, but you know, in the in the private part of right. the beach where nobody really even comes to so yeah that that's what i'd like to do okay oh okay yeah yeah sitting back and relax now did, did you get some of your lyrics some of your work just by doing that do you get something that expires you when you have i'll try not time? to if I, when i'm at the beach i try not to even think about work in any capacity uh-huh. i just try to admire god's gifts to us which is the beach and then don't go and the lord have mercy when i go around the sunset time okay. it is like the deal you know it's so pretty so i just um when i go to the beach i really just want to relax i'm mm-hmm. not even thinking of lyrics i mean if mm-hmm. something comes to me and i just can't help it then that's something different but a lot oftentimes i'll even leave my telephone in the car okay. so you okay. know okay well, well tell me so now now, wait, now now who would be your best uh your best uh talk show host who, who, who would be somebody who's your best talk show host I don't know. I really, I don't know. Um, I really don't know because I don't really watch a lot of talk shows. But, but, no, but you know what? I, you know what? I think Lyle Style would be he'd be up there too, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. So far, so, so good. So far, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay. I, I, but I mean, it's, it's so many talk show hosts yeah. around. I mean, and, and everybody has due respect yes, um, yes. because of, you know, the hard work that they do. Um, I, I mean, Steve Harvey is great. Wendy Williams yeah. is great. You know, yeah. Lyle, of course, is great. Um, but everybody, you know, everybody is, is doing oh, good yeah. work. So I don't know. Put it like this. Anybody who would uh, appreciate me and my craft enough yeah. to interview me, they go on my well, favorite Well, you know list. what? Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna be up, I must be up there because I appreciate you. Yes, you are. And, and I think you're a beautiful woman, you know, uh, inside and out. And you, you, you have a very iconic, very uh, beautiful voice. I know it's going to go real far in the industry, you know, and you got, like I said, you got positive people backing you, encouraging you, that, that, that that's what matters, that, you know, to keep the positive people around you, keep the negative away, and, you know, it, it'll be all right, you know, and you live in proof that in this country, you can live your dreams by persevering and by uh, hard work and by, you know, and putting God first. You, you can do anything, so. Uh, Thank you. I like to say that about you. Um, um, but, you know, I... I I um I, I just appreciate that and now in in, in your thing and in, in your business and now you um do, do you like bowling? Bowling? Yeah. No. 
Oh, no, no. Okay, bowling. I'm not good at bowling. Okay, so not good bowling. at bowling. I've, I've never, um, I've, I've never been good at bowling. Actually, I have an issue with sticking my fingers in a little hole. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's, it just never works out for me. It, I never learned how to shoot pool. Oh, you um, I like to watch. Mm, yeah, girl. Okay, don't worry. I am. I'm coming out there to to Atlanta now, so I'm gonna challenge you to 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 a pool game. Uh, I'll stop. Be no game because I don't okay. even know how to shoot. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, it work. Well, you know what? I have to show you then. So, you know, I'm, 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 you know. So, but uh, I, I like to do that. I like to shoot pool to relax, you know, and that type of stuff, you know, and and to have fun and bowl, whatever relaxes my mind. Uh, but uh, um, see, another thing. Okay, we got uh, five minutes left in the show, but uh, now we we touched on a little bit about about your career and stuff like that. Now, now you you're on Twitter. You said. I am. And and okay. Do, do, and how often are you on Twitter? What what people can reach you on there every day? Or? I'm actually not on Twitter all the time. I, I am on Instagram more than Twitter and okay. even Facebook. Um, but Twitter is uh, my name, Tyler Noel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I'm on Instagram more than Twitter and uh -huh. Facebook. Okay, Instagram. Okay, so we could they can check you out on Instagram. And mm -hmm. I know they have your Facebook. We put your Facebook page up there. They can check you out on Facebook page and, and kind of get get to your uh, get to your music. Which, yeah, which, they, which um, my, my links are on all of my pages. The uh -huh. links to my music uh -huh. is on all uh -huh. of my pages. Uh -huh. and, and then um, people just remember that I'm on Google, uh, what is it, Google Play. Right. Right. I'm right. on Apple Music, right. Amazon, Spotify, right. right. Tidal. Right. Just, you know, and if all those fail, just Google my name. Just okay. Google Tyler Noel okay. and, and um, my music will come up mm -hmm. and where you can purchase my music will come up. Okay, good. Excellent. Excellent. That's, that's a wonderful thing. You know, you... Uh, I mean, I want to say many blessings to you and stuff. And uh, you, you're gonna go so far again in what you're doing. Um, um, so, to to all the, the young people, you are you telling them to, to be persevere, to be, and to never give up their dreams. Absolutely, absolutely, and don't be afraid to be different. Um, a lot of times, people are so afraid to be different because people are afraid of what is different right. but it's okay um it's okay to be a black girl or boy and not want to sing r&b right, if you right. a black girl and a black boy you want to sing rock right. fine as right. long as you do it with some integrity and do it for real you, you know it's you okay go. to be it's okay to be different you, I don't, you know young people today just feel like they have to fit in this little box right. and you know it, but it's not like it's okay to be different you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, i like that i like you know you you're young and you have that type of attitude, the mature attitude about life. And you say, you know, don't, you know, always uh, be able to express yourself no matter what it is and in a positive thing. So, so you know what? I want to I want to thank you again for really being on this because I know you got to go, you got to do other things, you know, other things that you're working on. So uh, I want to thank you again, and I want you to be a stranger because I because I go out to Atlanta, I want you to be my first guest. Okay, well, and thank you again. Thank you again for thinking of me. And, yeah, yeah. when you get to Atlanta, we'll just, you know, you hit up Ken, yes. and we will set something up. Oh, definitely. I definitely hit up. He's a nice guy. And, uh, and the show's going to air Friday, and when, uh, when, it, when it gets on to uh, YouTube, page, YouTube I'm, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to send you the link to it so you can put it on your page and let everybody know that, you know, about the uh, Lifestyle Show, your interview, and you can just share it with everybody. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make this happen. Absolutely. Just send a link to Ken. Yes, I and will. And he normally, he does a lot of posting for me. Okay, good. So, yeah, absolutely. Good, it, good. Ken is really good. He's, he's got, I really am blessed that okay. I found him. So, once you get the link, just go ahead and send it to him, and he, he'll do, you know, he'll make it happen. Okay, good. Now, and I got you, and, and, I, and I did befriend you on uh, on Facebook, so, you know, so, uh, that's, that's a good thing. So, thanks again, uh, Tyler. Uh, no, no, is that pronounced the last name? Noel, or? Noel, yeah, no, Noel. No, Noel, yeah. I'm so bad for pronouncing. One thing about Lifestyle, he's, he can see faces, but names he can't pronounce. But, uh, it's okay. You, <laughs> but you did all right. Okay, you did pretty good. Well, thank you, young lady. You, you just you just touched my heart with that. So, again, thank you for being on Lifestyle Show. You know, many blessings to you and whatnot. I want you to thank come you. back on the show. You, you're welcome. You're welcome to come back on it. Let us know what's going on with your career. Our viewers definitely want to follow follow you and follow your story. And uh, God bless you, whatnot. So, and, and I will talk to you later on. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, y'all. Have a good one, and okay. thanks again for having me. Okay. Th thanks again. God, okay. bl God okay. bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, you know what? That's a, another beautiful se uh, segment with this young lady, uh, Tyler Noel, R.B. singer. Uh, like she said. 
Always follow your dreams. Always follow what you want to follow. Don't ever give up. Only in America we, we can make our dreams and our passion come, come, come to life. And so I appreciate everybody on the Lifestyle Show. So I want you to keep watching the Lifestyle Show. Keep following your passion. And remember, keep styling and profiling. See you next time. Bye.